Okay, so today I'm going to talk about Central Pattern Generator, or CBG. So what do all of these have in common? We have swimming, we have breathing, we have peristalsis. So you're not really thinking about like when you're doing these, like usually like 90% of the time. So like how does your brain know? Like you got to put your foot here and then put this foot there. So they all need neuronal circuits that can produce rhythmic motor patterns. And what does that mean? So here's a really simple CPG and it starts with an input or like an action potential. And it goes, it has an excitatory side up synapse on both of these that it has, it's connecting to two different neurons. And then over here, we have an inhibitory synapse. So first, start this off, we need a signal to go here first, or to either one of them first, but let's just use A for now. Oh, well, here it has all the, the signals here. So it goes to A first. It has, like, it has to have a higher threshold because A has to inhibit B, and if they're both inhibiting at the same time, then you'd get no signal. So signal goes to A, A inhibits B. Or yeah. So, but then A gets hit with fatigue, B recovers and inhibits A, and then B gets fatigued and A recovers and inhibits B. And so it kind of goes on in a cycle and getting you these, so it's the signal of A, and notice B isn't signaling at all. Then you have the signal B when A isn't signaling, and pretty much, and then they send the signal to the elevator muscle and the depressor muscle. So, you know, you need one, you can't have both of them working at the same time, pretty much.